In today's video, we're gonna go through the benefits of lumbrokinase, dosages and side effects. Let's get into it. Lumbrokinase is a proteolytic enzyme derived from a specific species of earthworm called Lumbricus rubellus. Earthworms have been used in traditional Chinese medicine to help with blood circulation and is currently used in China to treat heart disease, DVT and diabetes. Fibrin is a protein that forms a mesh that traps red blood cells and platelets to form a blood clot. Current drugs given when you've got a blood clot activates an enzyme called plasmin. Plasmin helps to dissolve fibrin and other proteins. Unfortunately, because it isn't specific to just fibrin, it can cause serious adverse effects such as heavy bleeding. Lumbrokinase, however, is more specific to fibrin, so it doesn't cause excessive bleeding. There are many different types of blood clots, including DVT, pulmonary embolism, ischemic stroke, heart attacks, and more. There was a study on 60 patients which looked at the effects of lumbrokinase in those with an increased risk of pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in the lungs. The results showed a significant improvement in the lumbrokinase group compared to the control group. When the blood supply to a part of a brain gets blocked, this is called an ischemic stroke. A one-year human study on those who had already had an ischemic stroke found the percentage of people who ended up with a cardio vascular event who didn't take lumbrokinase was 6.78% versus only 2.08% in those who took lumbrokinase. This means that after you've had an ischemic stroke, you may be three times less likely to have another stroke, angina or other cardiovascular event if you take lumbrokinase as opposed to if you didn't take anything at all. After surgery, particularly in the abdominal or pelvic areas, up to 90% of people can develop adhesions. Adhesions are bands of scar tissue that form inside your body and connect two surfaces such as organs that aren't supposed to be connected. They most commonly occur after surgery, but may also occur after infections, endometriosis, radiation treatment and injury. Often adhesions don't cause any problems, but there is a risk as they can increase the risk of post-surgery complications, cause chronic pain, infertility and can cause bowel obstruction. A recent lab and rat study found lumbrokinase had significantly better preventative effects on abdominal adhesions versus the no treatment group and the group that had hyaluronic treatment. Peripheral artery disease is a condition where the narrowed arteries causes reduced blood flow to the arms and legs. This can cause pain, cramping, reduced healing in the limbs, hair loss, and erectile dysfunction. Two human studies over two weeks showed lumbrokinase improved peripheral artery disease compared to the placebo. The studies were very short in duration, so much larger long-term studies are needed. Diabetic nephropathy is a common kidney disease that occurs in those with diabetes. Often diabetic patients are given ACE inhibitors to slow down the progression of this diabetic kidney disease. ACE inhibitors are a group of medication often used to treat high blood pressure. Lumbrokinase was tested in rats with diabetic nephropathy and results found that rats that took lumbrokinase had reduced diabetic nephropathy similar to the effect of ACE inhibitors. People with diabetes may also suffer from nerve damage which can cause pain or numbness to the hands and limbs. Lumbricanase was found to have remarkable effects on promoting healing of the peripheral nerves in diabetic rats. There is a large variation in dosage as there haven't been many human clinical trials. Dosages range from 20 mg a day up to 490 mg three times a day. It can be taken with or without food depending on the form you take. Always check on the product packaging whether you should have that brand with or without food. Possible side effects may include stomach upset, nausea, diarrhea, and an increased risk of bleeding. If you take any blood thinners or have any bleeding disorders, make sure you speak to your doctor first before starting lumbrokinase, as there may be an increased risk of bleeding. Some studies show lumbrokinase is safe to take with aspirin without an increased risk of bleeding, but it's still important to be cautious before taking them together. If you're going in for surgery, it's best to avoid taking lumbrokinase at least two weeks prior to surgery, unless otherwise advised by the doctor. So that comes to the end of the video on lumbrokinase. If you found anything useful, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!